Hello students, this is Ms. Violet and today we will learn the chapter 3 inserting image and creating tables in HTML. Before going directly to inserting images, first of all let us know what is HTML5. As you all know that the full form of HTML is hypertext markup language. You might be a little bit confused there about what is 5 year. So, 5 year it considers as the latest version of HTML4, XHTML1, DOM level 2 HTML. HTML is used to create web pages and allows you to modify the appearance of the web page. Always remember HTML is used to create web pages and allows you to modify the appearance of the web page. Today in this video I'll explain you from page 54 to 56. What are the contents here? How to insert images? What are the important things which you should learn in this chapter. So you see in the first paragraph it is written a web page can be more informative, interesting and attractive in various ways. A particular web page when you create it, it becomes, it gives an information to other people. What type of web, web page you are making and what are the things you are putting on the web page that makes the web page interesting and attractive. Attractive in the form uh, when you insert an image, when you put colors on it, when you put GIFs on it, when you change the font, when you change the tables in it, it has different things. That is why it is told that a web page can be made informative, interesting and attractive in various ways. Then goes the other line, HTML5 features such as inserting image formatted tables and audio video multimedia elements add immense values to the look and feel of the web page. Here in this line it is told that it, the features of an HTML5. What are the features here in HTML5 which can make your web page look more interesting? What else you can do in this HTML? Okay. In this particular line it is explained about the features means what you can do in a particular web page when you create it. When you create it, when you create a web page, you can insert an image, you can format a table. Format a table means you can edit a table, you can create a table, edit there, you can add audio video means you can add an audio to it or video to it so that you can explain it to others. And then multimedia elements. Multimedia elements are like such as images, sounds, same thing. That adds an immense value. That means it is important. Sometimes when we explain it to others, it happens that only just putting an image and giving it, it doesn't explain everything. So we need to add an audio of, and make a video so that people can see it and understand it. It gives a feel of a web page that is why it is, it is told that it gives a feel of a web page means automatic when you click a web page when it comes on your screen it should look attractive so that you can search here and there so many tabs will be there there will be then images there will be some gifs there will be some audio video anything else it gives an immense value for that now comes the second paragraph inserting images we can use different fonts and list in an HTML document. Similarly, we can add graphics to make the document look more attractive. It means when we insert an image, we will write something, isn't it? When we will write something, we want to change the style of that particular sentence. That means different fonts. We can put it as a Times New Roman, Calibri or anything. Apart from that, we can add graphics to make the document look more attractive here graphics means the images which is given on the down graphic interchange format joint photographic expert and portable portable network graphics these three things these are said to be the graphics here so web browser supports a number of graphic formats some of the most widely used formats are 
here in this chapter it is telling that some of the most widely used formats if the question comes what are the most widely used formats are you have to answer it as graphic interchange format joint photographic expert group and portable network graphics the short forms are given in the bracket make sure you don't forget that okay so now comes the graphic inter interchange format it is the best format for displaying images designed with the graphics program this format uses a maximum of 256 colors and a combination of this to create more colors remember the format uses a maximum of how many colors 256 colors okay and you can create it more colors also combination of next comes the joint photographic expert group it is the best format for photographs as it contains 1 million colors remember whatever photo we click from the camera phone camera or dslr camera it is said to be as a jpg image and gif is the image which blinks like uh, whenever we comment on facebook and all those things it comes like a video a small video that particular thing is called a gif which blinks and goes away then comes the portable network graphics this format is best suited for images with transparencies or low color font transparencies means from here when we uh, like a cotton cloth if, if we see a cotton cloth, we can see from this side to that side. So a photo can also be a transparent or an, a, on low color font. Low color font means a very low color where you can see from, from two. When, when you add two photos together, suppose one photo I have added there and again, again one photo I am adding on top of that photo. If the transparency is low, I can see the other photo also, isn't it? So that particular thing, it is explained here. Did you know? It is there in your book. In HTML 4.01, the height and wide attributes of the IMG tag could be defined in pixels or in percentage. But in HTML5, the value must be specified in pixel. It means last year, those who have studied the old book, it was in that book, it was written in either in it could be written in pixels or in percentage. But now when you are studying the HTML5, the value must be specified in pixel. That means it is mandatory that whenever you specify, whenever you put insert an image, it should be in pixels. Now we will learn about the various attributes of IMG tag. The various attributes of IMG tag are given here in your book. There are four attributes. The number one is SRC, Alt, Height and Wide. Now what these four things can do when you insert an image in an HTML page, web page. The four columns are given. In four columns, attribute, description, value and example is given. Make sure you buy heart all the attributes there are four attributes if the question comes in your examination about what are the four attributes of img tag then you have to answer the four attributes of img tag are src alt height and wide the description here is, is given very clearly what are the things which the these attributes can do i'll just explain you the, the example part open img src equal to under inverted comma it is given pic1 dot jpeg you can see here in this table i'll explain you about the attributes and the examples you read the description if you find any problem in understanding the description please ask me okay now the attribute the first attribute src when we read the letters src the thing which comes in our mind is src means search the shortcut short form src search now what we have to search we have to search an image we have to search an image from where we can insert in our web page now the example here img open tag img src equal to under inverted comma pic1 pic1 is the image name okay remember pic1 is the image name 
it can be for an example rows or flowers or vegetables anything image name it depends upon you or whatever it is in the desktop or on your d drive e drive whatever this pic1 it is the image name dot jpg under inverted comma that is close inverted comma pic1 dot jpg if you don't write pic1 dot jpg your image will not be inserted in the web page always remember open tag img equal to under inverted comma pic1 that is image name dot jpg here no space should be given and then close it that is img src equal to image dot jpg now comes alt alt it means alternate okay alternate img src under inverted comma same as the first one pick one dot jpg under inverted comma alt equal to image not available image not available suppose when you are inserting this particular image when you are inserting this particular image and if this particular image is not inserted there you have the alternative thing to write for example here the alt attribute it is given here it specifies the alternate text for an image and this text is displayed when the graphics features is turned off in the browser remember there are three reasons here in this description given here in that case the image will not be found and in case if the image will not be found the alternate image the alternate text will be displayed as a tool tip for the image for example if the image is not available there and if i put the cursor on that particular image the particular thing the particular words or the particular explanation will give me the answer for it then comes the height height means the height of the particular image and what height you want this is the height okay this is the height but suppose this is an image this particular box is an image this is the height of an image and this is the wide of an image in the example here it is given when 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 we want to put an height we have to write open tag img src equal the picture name under inverted comma then height equal to 100 pixel okay this is 100 pixel i have suppose this is an image and this is the height of an image and this is the wide of an image the total pixel of this image is 100% the frame of the video and this particular image if i cover everything it will go as a 100% if i take my this photo into this then it will come as 75% if i take it to this thing then it will come as 50% because half of the video is 20 uh, 50% and half of the image is 50% so in this way the pixels are counted in the web page so page number 55 figure 3.1 and page number 56 practice time i'll explain you in the next video till then see the video full video and try to understand the explanation if any problem you have in the explanation which you did not understand please let me know